Good evening, I'm Sarah Callis with the Lawmakers Capital Report. The day started with the seating of new House Rules Chairman, Representative Butch Parrish. Speaker John Burns welcomed him to the position, and Parrish thanked Representative Mandy Ballinger for the work she did after the loss of Richard Smith last month. I want to give a shout out to Representative Ballinger for helping us get through some really difficult times. I mean, thank you so much. In the House, members approved House Bill 872. It would give student loan forgiveness priority to dentists practicing in rural areas. Dental students would learn they are accepted into the program while they are still in school. HB 872 is addressing uh, a problem we have in this state, a well-known problem, that is getting health care personnel out into the rural areas. Uh, it's, it's been a challenge, and this in some small way will uh, address that challenge. The bill passed 150 to 3. In the Senate, SB 212 would allow small rural counties to replace a probate judge who handles election issues with an election board. If they wish to create a local board of elections uh, different from the way SB 212 would create it, they may still do that through local legislation as long as their local legislation is effective prior to January the 1st of 2025. The bill passed 35 to 12. Lawmakers also held a press conference today to advocate for more funding for sexual assault crisis centers. They will return to the Gold Dome on Tuesday for day 23. For GPB News, I'm Sarah Callis at the State Capitol.